Hey folks, this is uh this is my African Claude tank. Um just wanna talk a little bit about uh about the setup I have going here. That's there's Claudia there. She's so happy in this thing tank. She's just loving it. So some some things I learned since I've since I bought her. We got her from Petco and well uh, the guy the guy at Petco just really did know what he was talking about. He said w that we could keep him with other fish, we could keep him in our cichlid tank, and, um, and so I kind of, I, I impulse bite her. And then the next morning I woke up and started researching these guys, and, uh, yeah, they don't do very well with other fish. Uh, you see, we, we have some, we have some little guppies swimming around here. And essentially, those are in there for uh, for them to eat. Uh, they don't. We feed them pretty well with uh, staple foods. Um, for the staple foods, we feed mostly. Usually, I feed this. Uh, they're uh, uh, sinking shrimp pellets. I also uh, feed them these reptum in. They're uh, they're floating pellets. Uh, you can see a few of them floating up there now. Uh, my frogs generally don't eat off the surface much, so I don't feed them this stuff that often. Uh, you see, I, I keep a little I keep a little uh, tray down there for food, which you see she's in there looking for food now. Uh, I I put it down in there, and that's what I generally we feed them. Uh, they're they're mostly bottom feeders for the most part. They don't tend to like to, to eat off the top that I've noticed. I, I'll drop the floating pellets in there from time to time, but they generally just don't really eat off the top. At least mine doesn't. Uh, as far as uh, the, the plants, um, our plants in here, you see, I've, if you notice, if you look at the bases, of these plants, I have them weighed down with some really heavy rocks. Uh, these these frogs are pretty uh, mm, detrimental, I guess you'd say, to aquatic plants. Uh, they, they they tend to tear them up and try to pull them out. Uh, you don't really want to use plastic plants uh, because they can cut their webbing. The the webbing in their back feet is really delicate. And if the you know the leaves are hard plastic, uh, I've I've read that that yeah they can cut themselves. So all these plants in here have silk leaves. They're they are fake, but they have silk leaves. So it's really gentle on them, and and she won't get hurt. I have the driftwood in there, as you can see. Uh, I put that in there so that they have a place to uh, pretty much rest and get their nose above water, like that big stick. They can put their foot on it and keep their nose above water uh, I actually find a lot of times in the mornings I'll find them basically uh, stuck up behind that filter there this is a this tanks a little too deep for them I admit um, I'd like to get them into a long tank at just about a say 12 inches deep but they, they really seem to be thriving as especially Claudia there you see her She's just, she's swimming around and having just a good old time. Um, what, other, what else can I say about setting up a tank? Uh, they really like these terracotta pots. Um, the, 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 the African cloth frogs like to have a place to hide. So I have, I have these two terracotta pots set on their sides. Which they seem to like to go in. And then I have, I also... You see down here, I have a little cave built with just, you know, some, basically some stones out of the yard that I found. And then for my substrate, these guys are really, really aggressive eaters. So if you just have like small pebbles, they will actually, they will actually scoop these, they scoop the food into their mouths with their hands. And uh, if you have... If you have small, small substrate, small pebbles, they can actually swallow the pebbles and uh, get, basically they get impacted. 
and they could die. So we went, what we did was we went, let me show this up, show it a little closer here. We went out to just your basic uh, Home Depot or Lowe's and bought a bag of uh, river rock for your garden. And then I went through, since since my frogs are albinos, you can see her, see she's hiding up on being behind the filter again there. But since I'm, my frogs are albinos and they're basically white in color, I went through the bag, oops. I went through the bag and picked out, uh, picked out, uh, basically the darker, the darker stones that I could find so that, so that they're all pretty much black or gray and you can, and it really sets off the frogs against, against that substrate. And again, it's, those rocks are way too big for them to eat. And they, they seem really happy with it. There she is. <laughs> I love her. She's such a good frog. These are these are such good pets to have. Uh, once they start getting used to you, and and uh, when you start feeding them, like I I I, I, I put their food. I'll, I'll put my hand in the tank and put their food down in this tray down here. Uh, the the past few days now, there she is again. Claudia here has just she she as soon as my hand hits the t hits the water, she just she swims right out. And starts eating food right out of my hand. They're they're really smart creatures. They're 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 a really fun pet, and I recommend them. Uh, but you really should do your research. Don't listen to the pet store guy. Uh, do your own research. But uh, yeah, I I think I got a pretty good setup. Uh, I welcome any comments below. Thanks, everyone.